Well, it looks like the hits just continue to hit. Now, if y'all been following my page, y'all will know that at one point in time, well, recently I did a live stream called Hold Your Own Wontons that did pretty good numbers and shout out to everybody that watched that video and went back to rewatch it. Then I followed up with another video recently talking about a woman by the name of Dr. Rita Suh who was exposing the quote unquote myth of the model minority. Now here we have this video that I'm bringing to you in the form of a triple P because it just has to be about this former tech employee whose name is Andre Wong, who and I'm, that's the one that's on the right, who is so as you can see right here, it says in a lawsuit because former execs banned Mandarin and made jokes about rice. Now, it's crazy because we've been trying to tell people for a while that when it comes to this, to this Asian bias or this anti Asian hate, if you want to call it that, it's not overwhelmingly black people that are doing it like they and that by they, I mean, the media have been putting out there to portray. It's been other people in these tech companies. And when I was talking about tech companies in my hold your own wonton uh, live stream, many of them were upset because they couldn't climb the corporate ladder because the usual suspects was keeping them down. Again, something that is out of our control and we, something we had nothing to do with. So here we are again, where they are facing discrimination in these big corporate tech places. And ironically, in the same places that I was talking about in that live stream, which was in Silicon Valley. What did I, I, I I'm just shocked that the over the overturning of affirmative action will yield it these type of, type of results this soon. I knew they were going to come. I just didn't know they were going to happen this quickly. And from the looks of it, I believe this has been going on even while affirmative action was still going on. It's just that they were waiting for the overturning of it so they can now complain about it. A former Asian American employee is suing the Silicon Valley tech company Lumentum alleging that a years long pattern of racism ended with his termination when he tried to speak out. Andre Wong, as I know I said Wang earlier, Wong, age 52, filed the complaint in the Santa Clara Superior Court on June 30th, seeking $20 million in damages. Now, peep that. It said that he filed the complaint on June 30th, which was the same or like the same week of the overturning of affirmative action maybe if not the same week it was a few days after maybe the week after does that not sound kind of suspicious to you anyway let's continue his suit comes amid others by tech workers who say they're pushing against the quote-unquote bamboo ceiling barriers that have kept agents from advancing to high-level leadership positions during his two decades at Lumentum, Wong alleges he saw management ban Mandarin from being spoken informally at the office and he was ridiculed for the way he pronounced his R's and was told speaking up about racism, quote unquote, made white people feel bad. Interesting. Th man, this if this is not karma and a wake up call, I don't know what is in an embassy news interview and in his official complaint. He also says that he was passed up for an executive level position overseeing a technology he created. His lawsuit says his termination was a direct result of his speaking ab out about workplace discrimination against Asian Americans that he had experienced and observed. My primary goal is to drive change in the industry, Wong said. There are a lot of stories out there that just aren't being told there's a fear of retaliation. Lamentum, a multinational telecommunications equipment company, did not respond to a request for comment. Wong, a Canadian born Asian American, had been working at Lamentum for 22 years before he was fired in December. While he was there, he said he developed a 3D sensing technology that the lawsuit claims brought $1 billion to the company. But Wong says that despite the fact that he pioneered the program, he was denied an executive role overseeing it and was instead subject to a revolving door of white managers. These white managers I had to train and introduce to my industry context and that it my, itself made me feel so frustrated. I felt like I was banging my head against the door thinking, what do I need to do? 
A 2021 bio on the Lamentum website described Wong as instrumental in achieving Lamentum's leadership in 3D sensing, but he feels he was never taken seriously or consi seriously considered for promotion. Instead, when it came time to hire for the executive role in 2020, two external candidates, a South Asian man and a white woman, were considered for the job. After the interview process concluded, the management told the team that the white female was preferred because she was quote unquote not like us, according to the complaint. But Wong says this wasn't the first or most overt incident of discrimination he experienced at the company. When he was once preparing for a board meeting at which he had to make a presentation, a white executive ridiculed him about how he pronounced his R's, telling him to enunciate according to the complaint. Wong said this seriously affected him. He got fixated on my pronunciation of program, he said. That was all he cared about. He didn't care about the content of my presentation. It completely shook me. I lost my confidence. When I had to give the board sh meeting shortly thereafter, I couldn't even think about what I needed to present. Management banned Chinese engineers from speaking Mandarin at work around 2015, Wong said. When employees expressed their concerns, they were ignored. At that time, I didn't know what to do. That was just one of the many instances. At a general meeting, he said white managers also joked about whether employees were steaming rice at one of the company's factories in China. In the wake of the murder of George Floyd and the spa shootings in Atlanta, company-wide conversations about race led him to connect with Asian American co-workers. He found they all had similar experiences and he started an Asian employee resource group. He organized events open to everyone in the company, including one presentation in which he and others shared their personal stories, stories of discrimination. One of the slides also pushed management to hire a proportional number of Asian employees to higher level positions, according to a copy of the presentation obtained by NBC News. He was later told by upper management the presentation made white people feel bad. Over the next year, he continued to speak out. The complaint said, and in May 2022, he was forced out of his job on the 3D sensing team and reassigned. After seven months in the new role, during which he continued to advocate against what he perceived as a culture of discrimination, he was terminated. While Wong is front and center in the suit against Lumentum, he says these stories are reflected across the tech industry, cropping up more and more in lawsuits against Silicon Valley companies. If he wins, he said he plans to donate a significant portion of his winnings to fight anti-Asian discrimination. Again, these discrimination tactics that are happening against this guy and i'm sure other asian americans in these big tech companies are coming from the same people who asked they've kissed to get there they are like i said it like i said just recently if this is not a wake-up call for them as a collective not just for this one guy that i'm talking about but for all of them i don't know what is and this was a topic that i talked about in my hold your own wontons live live stream was about how they face this discrimination in these tech companies but the thing is many of them got into tech over a lot of black people that were qualified because they were quote unquote smarter or worked harder Look back to the Dr. Rita sub video that I did where it was claims that they got these loans because they worked harder. Now they're realizing that the model minority thing is indeed a myth. And to be quite honest, many of them have already called it out. I'm a, I'm, I'll, I'll be honest with that. Many of them did call out and say the model minority thing is a myth, but some of them took it and ran with it. They got too cocky. They got too arrogant. Now they're realizing it was nothing more than a pipe dream. But all I'm going to say is this. Don't look our way to try to get an assist. You are literally on your own. Because you been, you could have been said something, but you didn't. His attorney, Charles J Chung, Jung, says he hopes this is the beginning of a movement. Our goal is not just to achieve change in one case, but to achieve change in the industry. I think what this series of cases reflects is that Asian Americans have had enough with being treated as second class citizens. Join the club. Often, well, don't join our club. You create your own club, but this is just a term of expression. Often seen as technical or competent and suited for the factory floor, but rarely suited for the leadership in any organization. But again, they were told they worked harder, though. They said they worked harder. You would think the ones who worked harder would get these high tech, not high tech, but these high executive leadership roles. But they literally are keeping them relegated because let's be honest, here, they're not about to make an Asian person the face of a lot of these big tech companies. They'll be damned.
But see, a lot of them were under the impression of, well, we got it better than them black people, so we must be good, right? We must be good, right? That's probably what they were saying. And PC was looking at over at them, was like, yeah, right, while looking to the side and not giving them eye contact. Only to pull the rug from right up under them. And I'm not surprised after reading this article that the discrimination that he was talking about dated back a couple of years. And I said, is again, I'm questioning the timing that he's taking this lawsuit out right after the overturning of affirmative action, because affirmative action was at the end of June. And he took this lawsuit out at the end of June, days after affirmative action got overturned. Expect more stories like this to pop up. It's going to be a whole crop of these type of stories that are going to pop up over the next few months, probably where they're going to start talking about their grievances and the discrimination they face in the workplace. And again, it's not from black people, but they'll have you to believe lamestream media. That is that is black people that's going out there committing all these anti Asian American crimes against Asian pe people of Asian descent. And that's simply not the case. It's a it's on a corporate level where there's barely any black people there. It's PC that's doing this to them, just like when it comes to affirmative action, that was PC doing it to them. But they'll get upset if allegedly a black person calls them a name. Then they want that. Then that's when they pull out the daggers. Where's the AAPI in on this? Where's Charlie Chion? Is he going to make a Well, I don't know the last time he made a video. I would ask where's that that Asian page on Twitter, but they blocked me. And all those other Andy, no, they going to talk about this? Probably not. And if they do, they're going to softball it instead of calling it what it is, because for them to call out white supremacy, it'll be deemed as them being woke. So while some of them don't want to don't will do admit that the model minority thing is a myth, those same people and then some will will try to hold on to a sliver of that pseudo model minority because they know it's actually not real power. You're just really the underling. You're like I said, they're like the second in command. And even with that, you're probably about to lose your status, especially if this legacy admissions lawsuit goes through the one with Harvard. Yeah, y'all got too comfortable. And now you're realizing that your dream was indeed really a nightmare. Oh, 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 oh,